Hi guys, um, this is just a short tutorial to help you out with um, the login screen. I know you're meant to do your login screen in Tankable, but I, I got some questions about how do you transfer stuff from Tankable to, sorry, from Marvel app to Tankable. I'll just show you. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a login screen now on Tankable. I will start from the scratch, a simple one and just it might take a little bit of time because, in fact, I haven't even done it before, but I just want to, you know, I'm just going ahead to to do everything on the fly. So I'm going to click on the Create Project icon there. I'll choose Create. And what I want to create is um, I'm just going to create a project called Proof. Okay, the Proof. And I'm choosing the project type to be iPhone 12. All right. This is Marvel App. Um, and I'll choose Create. Okay. Right, so what do I do next? I need to now create a new design. I'm not choosing any one of these. If you want to use the what they call the sketch blog, you can use that. Don't go there now or try an, an example prototype. You have sample prototype here, okay? So you can, I've actually never tried it before, but maybe you want, you want to give it a go just to play with it. You know, I'm sure you have lovely templates there. So, but I'm going to create from the scratch. So I'm going to choose create design. That's it up there. And I'll choose design in marvel if i if i've designed something already on my computer I just, all i need to do is to upload it but i'm designing one in marvel so i'm going to choose this one here okay so this will take me to a new blank page where i can now start doing the magic all right so what i want to do now i think i have a logo design already so i will bring it in so that it will guide my color scheme remember whenever you're doing stuff you want whenever you're creating um an application on a web app or whatever it is you want to make sure you have a color scheme you don't want to randomly pick colors that don't make sense it has to go with your color scheme all right so i'm going to bring in the logo and so to bring in the logo i will choose this icon here that is one two three third from the bottom that one there and i'll go to upload from my computer so i'm going to click on upload there okay so i think i have it somewhere um proof um logo and that's the logo there i'm gonna double click on that I have even forgotten what the, what the color of the logo is. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. So it's um, green and, and um, orange. So this defines the sort of color I'll be using. Green, orange, and most likely white. Okay. And also, I, I actually saw some templates online, some design online about um, login screens. So I just, okay, let me create that design for you. Um, I, I have it saved there. So I'm going to upload it so I can look at it while I'm designing. I think I call it sample login. That's it there. I think they're beautiful designs. So I want to see how can I create something similar. All right. I'll put it here so that I'll be looking at it. Okay. All right. So I think I prefer this middle one. Okay. Uh, I could combine it. I won't do this three icons here. There's three social media. I won't. I'll probably just use Google. Google is a very popular way to log in. So not Facebook. I don't like logging and using Facebook and all that, but I'll, I'll go with Google. So I can see that they have like, um, a background there. All right. A background there. Ah, a background and the background is kind of, um, um, blood background. I don't know if I have a blood background, but let me, let me search here if I can see, um, under the stock photos, I'm going to say blood background. I'm not sure if it's there. If it's not there, maybe I'll check the internet. Oh, there is. Oh, so this blood background, blood. Okay. All right. So you just type in blood in here and look for any blood background that suits you. So I'm looking for a dark shade of background. Um, I think this one is okay. So, um, this is it, but you can see that at times when you bring in a picture, it might not suit what you're looking for. So in that case, you could actually expand it and use it like that. Maybe I'll expand it to make sure it feels out, but I do not want to, I want to make sure it's not pixelated. Some people, when you're dragging pictures, you find out that, you know, they make the picture and uh, the, the picture will be distorted and that's not nice. You want to make sure it's you are increasing it at the same proportion so that you can see now the pictures are not distorted. All right. So now, but definitely this is not the size you're looking for. All right. So the best way to do this now is to use Snagit. 
you know so i have my snagit in here all i need to do is to crop the exact size that i'm looking for i'm going to be using this section here to gauge the exact size that i'm looking for when i crop it you know so it will now fit right on top of the um it will just fit perfectly well with the background okay so i'm now going to de I'll delete it I've, I've actually done that already you know i have a, a piece of the background that i'm looking for so i'll delete this one and i'll bring that in all right so to bring it in again i'll go to upload and i'll check click on background i think i call it background that's it there so you can see now it's i used snagit to trim it to this size so that i can now fit perfectly well um on the background yeah super that's it you see i got some very huge background and now to slim one so this is exactly what i'm looking for now if you see here i have two sort of logos two different version of logos and the reason i have that is because when i want my logo to be placed on top of a a dark background i'll use the brighter one when i want to place it on a white or a light background i use the darker one so that it will have like a contrast to show properly all right so i'm going to use this one because it's a light background now you can see now that when i'm trying to put it in here it's disappearing and the reason why it's disappearing is because i obviously brought the background after i brought in the, the logo so the logo is behind the background so what i need to do to bring it to the front i'll select it i right click and i'll choose send to front and that's it so i'm going to put my logo here you can see that it's bright it's lovely if i put this one then bring it to the front you can see that it's not going to show well so that's why i have a brighter version of it okay so you want to have several version of your logo you know so that it will match certain backgrounds if you could see i used still i still use sort of green at times you could even use white you know just to play safe so you could use white or black those are neutral colors and it, it could help all right so um that's it done here so let's take a look at the next thing to do so okay the next thing to do is to um, get in uh, my my social media login i want to use only google again i have brought in look and google button you can go online to get google button i brought in one already and i saved it on my computer so if i want to extract stuff that i've saved on my not computer on my um, um marvel hard drive so to speak that's this one here click on it and I'll, I've actually searched for it here. So without it search, you can see these are the things that I've saved, you know, on my personal hard drive on, on, on Marvel app. So I'll go to Google. I think I named it Google. So that's it here. So these are the ones I have saved here. So I'm going to use this one, just the Google one. There's one for Google and Facebook, you know. I don't want that one now. It doesn't fit. I think I, I prefer this one. So I'm just going to put it here, you know, this fits. Now I have this dash or dash. So it's either you sign in with Google or you now create an account. So there's, um, I use this line to draw my line. Shift, I'm holding my shift down. Shift on your computer, on your, on your uh, what's it called? On your, on your keyboard, you know, to draw a straight line, all right? So that's the straight line there. And I want it to be, what color is it there? Hmm, I have to be careful what color it should be now. If I leave it as white, because it's on a white background, it might not show. But let me say, let me leave it as, um, I'm going to use it as pink. Sorry, um, this color here. What is it called? Orange. Let's see if that will work. I'll take a color, this color picker to take the exact color shade. Right, that's it there. All right. And I'll increase the size here to about... Let's say four. How does it look? Hmm. That looks strong though. But I just give it a go. All right. So I want a second one, you know, so I'll copy it, control and C and control and V to paste. All right. So I've copied it and I will put it here. Right. Okay. Now I put an R in between, isn't it? All right. Click on my text and I'll say or. Or. I want that to be a white. Oh, I don't know if that white will work, but I just give it a go. I could change the color because it's on a white background. Uh, maybe I should change it to black. Right. And I think this is way too far apart. But I like it to be the edge here. Okay. So maybe I have to increase this a little bit. A little bit. Shift down to make sure it's straight. Shift down. Yeah. Shift down. And so I'm going to copy this one since I've increased it. 
delete this one and put the second one there the paste yeah that's it because this is way better okay right we're getting there slowly but surely so now this other one now no these are boxes so i'm gonna come in here i think i have some pre-built boxes in um this line here that is the iphone section i'll just come in here i'll type in button i have some button that are transparent i think this one is transparent that's what it means click on that that's it there so it's transparent right but it's uh, gray but i want it to be white so i'm going to select it see if i can change it to white the border should be white so it should stand out yeah Oh, I think it's just slightly too big for my liking. If I do not want it to have this um, radius, I could just use, um, um, I don't have to use a button. I could use the shape, you know, but it's okay. I'll leave the button. So that's this one represent the username and I'll do a second one. I'm going to write username on it. Username. Come on. Come on. Username username right control and e so i'm going to change the color to white okay i think the text is too big come on reduce it a little bit okay username super then the next one is password so instead of me just doing um i uh, just copy it just to avoid me going through that same process again and i'll make sure it's on the same line i'll press the shift to make sure it's on the same line so that's it then i'll change the word inside to password password right oh i think it's nice if it's in capital letter and just change it password i just want to i want it to look exactly like what we have in this so i'm going to come in here and change this to capital letter username user username is actually one word username okay ooh, ooh. slowly but surely now we need a button to say sign in okay so i can come in here but this time around the button should have something a color so i'm going to go with this colored one i'll click on that come down here uh, again reduce the button size to to match the other ones here the button size here I just make it match it a bit just the same size, the same size. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, then I'll just type in sign in. Is that capital letter as well? Sign in. Okay. But I want to change the color. I probably want to change it to this one, this color here, orange. You know, so we can have a nice color scheme. So I click on it and I'll go to fill. Use my color picker and take a bit of this. And that's it there. We're getting there. Slowly but surely, but we're there. So now what's underneath it says don't have an account. Sign up. Is that what you said? Sign in. Or I rather use register instead of sign up. So I'm gonna write now. I'll click on the text. I'll go. Uh, where's the text now? Yeah, that's it there. Don't have an account. I'll say maybe a simpler word. I just say create an account or forget password. I think I'd rather use create an account and forget password. So I would say create an account, create, create an account, and account, create an account, A C C O U N T, right? So that would be one, th one word there, but I just change the color again to, well, why be better? White, and I'll move it down a bit create an account but i just have to be careful so that it should be it's visible you know yeah yeah so yeah it's visible enough i just say create an account so for those that don't have an account they can actually create an account let me just increase it to like 30 30 pixels yeah i think that's big enough then or create an account or forgot password i think i like that create an account or forgot password because this is more or less like signing so i'm going to just copy this and paste ctrl c so that i don't have to do it again and then i'll right here forget password forget password 
Okay. Ooh, I'll give it a different color. Um, where's my color picker? I just want it to be pink and orange. Again, I'll take a color from here. Ooh, I don't think the orange suits now. It's not showing well. Ooh, so which color? Because, yeah, you won't see it. So I think white is better, unfortunately. Yeah, it's, it's not that clear. But we'll just have to manage it a bit. Hmm, that's the problem with using background. Okay, that's the problem with using this sort of background and um shade you have to get the, the 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 background color right but anyway this is how you create a user interface it took a little bit of time but i wanted you to see me making mistake and fixing it because that's what you will do when you are creating stuff you want to fix it um you know making an error or fix it i think this is enough for the login screen so you also have to create um, a sign up screen because obviously when they choose get to the login screen if they haven't created an account you want to give them that option to create an account but i'm going to save this now and i will download it and tell you how you're going to get this into trunkable come with me so save now i'm going to close close okay and uh, let me go and preview it ah uh -huh, it looks nice here so I'm going to go click on this. Let's take a look at how it looks like. Ooh, I'm excited about it. Ooh, it looks nice. The only problem I have now is this fact that this forgot it's not showing well. Mm, or should I just put it at the bottom here? But it just, oh, it would have been nice. It wouldn't be nice though, because usually it stays close to it. But, you know, for functionality, probably best to put it at the bottom where it's dark. But, but this is it. This is it. This is the login screen. So how do I download this and take this to Tonkable? Yeah. So here's what you do. Now that I have it here, you click on, you see on this part of the, the page, you go to what we call hand off, hand off. That one there. Click on that. So now the hand off basically is going to, it's going to help. You can now download every bits and pieces of whatever you did here and bring them into Trunkable. All right. So you can see here you have, oh, I really don't need this one, but it's telling me that, you know, the, the, the sample login, I'm not going to download this. So I, I want to download the background color. I want to download the logo, you know, the things that I need. You know, you can see them. These are the assets. Then the colors as well that you need that I use. You can see them here. All right. The font color that I use, the font size that I used, everything that I use is here. So all I need to do is just say download all assets. So that will download everything that you need. So you can be bringing them into Tonkable, you know. So that's that's basically what you do. It's not like you're gonna get the exact shape in 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 uh, what's it called in in Tonkable. You know, you just get the assets. If you want to get the exact shape, you can. I'll show you one other option. But at times, you you don't need a, a solid picture. You need um, an input field. So it doesn't make sense. So it's best to do it this way. Um, yeah, but, but again, if you just want to take a picture or, or the exact shape of what you have there, what you have yet, there's another way to go about it. You just click on the download on the previous page. I'll do that now once we have this. So if you're looking to just um, download just the, the screen, the picture, everything, just click on download here. All right. This is hands off. Hands hands off will give you all the bits and pieces. Why download? We download the screen, you know, itself. So I'm going to click on download and, uh, and so you can see what I mean. So here you go. So that's it downloaded. All right. Okay. So I'm going to stop this now and see. So now let's go to Tonkable and see how we can get it in.